Hi, welcome to Murray Edwards College, Cambridge, Medwards for short. My name's Neve. I will be your virtual tour guide today. I am a first year historian. That will be important later on. As you can see here at the front of college, we were founded as Newhall and we were recently changed to Murray Edwards to honour a benefactor and our first ever college president. Medwards, I guess, is most known for housing the Newhall Art Collection, one of the largest and most significant collections of women's art in the world. They're displayed throughout college and everyone has their little favourite. My personal favourite is in the bar. We have some lovely flowers that are looked after by our wonderful gardeners. We move into the Porter's Lodge, otherwise known as Plodge, and it is your first port of call for all of your student inquiries. A member of the Porter's Lodge team, the Porters are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're always there to help you out if you've lost your ID card, if you've lost your keys, if you need a little bit of help, if you need to collect a package, they're there to help you out and they are the loveliest people ever. So like, they are the people that kind of make your Cambridge experience and every college has a fight over who has the best porters. But we will win. <laughs> This is the library and the library office. There are 60,000 books in here across a few different levels and most of your core books for any course will be found here. History is right at the top so it's a bit of a trek but it's worth it, lots of good books up there. It's a little bit difficult sometimes to find the more niche stuff. You know, if you're getting into sort of long essays and coursework, you might need to go elsewhere, but the librarians are really friendly and are super helpful to help to help us find those books. So it's never ever a big deal if they're not available at that time. And as you can see, you have workspaces that overlook both Fountain Court and the gardens. My favourite side is Fountain Court side. I like to get in there fairly early and like just watch the sort of sun come up from that side of college. Yeah, and you can also get DVDs and DVD players from downstairs, which is super cool. Yeah, the library team is just like at the heart of the whole community here. They have craft time, they have tea at three on a Wednesday, where they'll come around and like ask you if you want tea and biscuits in the office, which is obviously really nice. And yet, if we go down to the lower ground floor, we have our IT resource centre, which is a computer suite. Um, so if you don't have a laptop for any reason, you can do all your work in there, it's no problem. And you can do printing and all of that good stuff that you might not be able to do just from your laptop in your room. Yeah, the library is awesome. I love it. Welcome to the dome, or dome as we call it. Dome is home, is what we say, because we love Medwoods. We eat in here, we have breakfast, lunch, dinner in here, and most importantly we have brunch on a Saturday morning. Best brunch in Cambridge. And you can pay using your ID card, which we call CAM cards, and you top them up online. There's no minimum spend, and the online credit can also be used when booking dinner for formal, which is what we also have in Dome. So formal hall is a very traditional Cambridge thing, where we like put on some nice clothes, and we put on our gowns, and we get a three-course meal every Tuesday evening. You have to pay for it, and you have to book it in advance. And we also have themed formal, so we have like a Halloween formal where you dress up, and a winter formal where we have Christmas dinner. Formals and both normal cafeteria service have loads of vegetarian and vegan options as well so like the catering team are awesome this is the bar 
and it's one of my favourite places in college. I like that it has an upstairs and downstairs. It is staffed by students, so to be able to work in the bar is really nice to earn a little bit of extra money. The bar hosts some bops sometimes, some events. We host Skive at Five on a Friday afternoon in the bar, where we just take an hour or so off work and tea and biscuits are served. <laughs> There's always tea and biscuits at an event in Medwoods. We also host this thing called Band in the Bar, which is, as it sounds, where we have a band come and play in the bar in an evening, which is lovely. Um, and a really nice thing about the bar is that you can go out onto Fountain Court. So if we move into Pearl House, in Cambridge you are housed on site so you rent these rooms termly or you can rent them across holidays depending on the lease. We have college houses off site if students want and you're housed in floors so there's 16 of you to a floor and flats of like four or five. There are two types of rooms, one is slightly bigger but they are all en suite. All of your heating and your water that's obviously covered in your rent. Welcome to Orchard Court. I have a room in Orchard Court for next year. Um, haven't had the chance to live there yet but I'm looking forward to it because we have bigger kitchens and balconies and we have split rooms where you can like there are two floors to the room And we do share bathrooms in Orchard Court. Our kitchens, not to brag, but our kitchens are really nice um, in Medwoods. A lot of Cambridge colleges have what they call a jip, which is like maybe a microwave and a stove top. But in Medwoods, every kitchen has an oven. These are our lovely gardens here at Medwoods. It's one of my favourite things about the college, one of my parents' favourite things about the college. I mentioned before that our gardeners are really nice. You can see them all the time, like planting and taking care of the gardens. And yeah, they're just some of the nicest places to be. You can pick the vegetables and flowers that they grow. You can walk on the grass, which is rare in Cambridge. Bike storage is obviously super important. If you're living in Cambridge, you probably have a bike. And we also host events in the gardens, which are really lovely. We have Apple Day in Michaelmas term, which is when we like drink cider and eat apples and eat marshmallows and like decorate like tote bags and stuff. It's a really nice like autumnal feel. And we also host 
the Medwoods Garden Party in the gardens, as you might guess. And that's a part of May week, which is a week in early June. <laughs> like at the end of summer term, where we all like get a bit fancy and like go to events and stuff at other colleges. And the garden party at Medwoods is a fairly like relaxed version of that. And it's really popular because it's a little bit cheaper, but it's also really, really fun. We also have tennis and netball courts at the back of Pearl House. And yeah, these are available to book and you know it's a nice time to have to play some tennis or netball this is the murray edwards gym it is equipped with treadmills cross trainers bikes step a stepmaster a rowing machine weight machines and it also has an area for free weights yoga and boxing i personally don't use the gym i prefer to exercise alone but I know that a lot of people that do use it really like the fact that we have a pretty decent gym. Um, you do have to pay for it on top of your student fees, but it's really reasonable and you access it with your ID cards. So if you don't have a gym membership, you can't get in. This is the Vivian Stewart room or VSR for short. Um, it is where we host the Gateway Programme. This is a programme that's unique to Medwoods for current undergraduate and graduate students and it includes academic development, career development, internships and you can get like funding for enterprising exercises out of it. Um, and it's basically these weekly sessions in the evening where we, and it's divided in between, like there's a session for humanities and there's a session for sciences. I obviously go to the humanities one and you sit down for an hour once a week in the evening and you learn skills. So in the first term we learnt about sort of like academic skills, so like how to take proper notes, how to write a decent essay. And in second term we talked a lot more about career skills. So we talked about how to have a good CV and what an interview might look like. So it's been really helpful and you earn credits. And if you have enough credits then you can apply for funding from the Gateway Challenges Fund. You can develop some skills and then maybe get some money to do that to do a challenge that can be like going to an archaeological dig if you are an archaeologist or for me I wanted to like do some interrailing on my own so like it doesn't have to be a necessarily like an academic challenge it just has to be something new and exciting for you that you want to do and the VSR is where we host Gateway. Students don't usually have access to it but we host quite a lot of really nice events here. We host um, music and words where every other Sunday where the Joint Choir of Medwoods and Churchill sing together, which is really nice. Um, we host a lot of musical events in here. This is the Junior Common Room or JCR. This is where we hang out in the daytime, usually sometimes in the evening before we go out and it, you can access it from either Pearl House or Orchard Court. So those are the two places where undergraduates usually live. It's a really nice room to be in. Um, it's quite a relaxed atmosphere, either to work in or just to like eat your lunch in and have a nice time. That's the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed looking around Murray Edwards College. Thank you so much for watching.